Hello, welcome to another episode of First Impressions and today I'm taking another look at Open Mandriva. First let me provide a little bit of a backstory as to why I removed my original First Impressions video on this distribution. Like all of my First Impression videos I go into it without knowing too much about the release, download the ISO and then give my unfiltered First Impressions of the operating system as I am experiencing it. The downside to doing it this way is that I can very rarely make a mistake. Anyway. I did the video as normal and thought nothing of it, until the guys at Open Mandriva commented on the video asking me to take it down. Now, I'm not the type of person that will be bullied into anything, so I responded to the comments but was going to leave it up, until after looking back and realising why they weren't best pleased with the video. I'm not quite sure how it happened but I displayed the wrong release. If they just didn't like what I said about the operating system and told me to take it down I would have point blank refused. However. I don't want to spread any misinformation about an operating system people pour their lives into making. We had a back and forth and the guy apologised for the way he handled the situation. And that's good enough for me. I'll put the comments just on the side there so you can see. Um, and then before we actually start this first impressions we're going to verify what exactly it is we've downloaded and installed. So I grabbed the ISO from here and as you can see it says Open Mandriva LX 3.0.3 uh, um, and then we would quickly jump into my Windows host just to show you exactly what we have got. So it's empty now but if you look the last loaded one is the exact same ISO Open Mandriva LX 3.03 you can see I downloaded okay so with that out of the way let's get into the first impressions where are we right uh, we'll leave that minimized for now so the changes I've made so far is that I've moved the bar up to the top and I've removed the Windows launcher, like the Windows, to only come up on the dock below. Um, this is all over the place, so let's quickly move this about. So I want that there. I want that next to it, and then I want that there, and we'll have that there. Um, okay. Perfect. Um, I've disabled like the workspace switcher because I don't really tend to use it. So we'll have a quick look at what it comes installed with. So the launcher is up here on the left. Um, you've got some quick launch programs here. Recent applications, recent documents and recent contacts. So internet it comes installed with Firefox as your web browser. KDE Connect to share notifications with your Android. Mm, smartphone, KTorrent, KMail and you know the rest of the K sort of stuff. Um, Office it comes with LibreOffice the full suite, um, K organizer for your calendar, graphics, no GIMP so I'll install that myself. Music it comes with Clementine which is a good music player actually Caden Live, which is a video editor, VLC media player, and SM player. Um, we'll just leave that at that for now. So, what we'll quickly do is look at the settings. So, system settings. Workspace theme. So, if change it to the dark theme that's better okay that looks a lot nicer for me that does um, see so what icons we're using so just the breeze dark okay let's have a little look down here
<clears throat> okay. All right, cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to load up system monitor or KSIS guard in KDE's respect. And then we're going to see how quickly we can load that up to 2 gig. It's on 1.2 at the moment. So let's just open a load of stuff. We'll open this. We'll open this. We'll open this. We'll open this. Right, let's let that all load up for the moment. Mm -hmm. There we go. So we are now. I can feel it starting to lag. We're at 1.6 gig out of 4 no swap is being used so we'll also open up a LibreOffice and we'll open up the writer and then we'll open up a YouTube tab and then we'll open up another one as well I reckon we should probably be at about 2 gig 1.9 so I wasn't far off right we're going to leave all this lot running and just see how sluggish it is as we navigate through the operating system ok so your software centre where you will download and install updates and programs is called discover fairly simple layout that most people should probably be used to there we go and then it will populate it when there's updates to be done but as you can see no updates are necessary so let's just search for GIMP and install it um, there we go we found it here so we'll leave that to install and we'll quickly check how much memory we're at now 2.1 CPU utilization is at a hundred percent okay all right so Dolphin is your file browser or manager sorry and we'll just quickly have a look at what version it comes with about Dolphin so we've got version 17.0.04 and we're using KDE frameworks 5.39.0 QT 5.8.0 um, so it's just a usual sort of tabbed interface that most people should be used to okay so that's still installing let's have a look at how it snaps programs together I believe out of the box it's got a four way split yeah so one two three and let's get the file manager here Four. So, any of you multitaskers out there, it's all ready for you. What icons that? I'm not used to that. Okay. Um, let's see what. Ah, uh, uh, the dark theme. I might need to restart it to get it to show all these things properly. Um, let's close that up for now. Yeah. So, what I'm gonna do is just we're gonna go back to the default theme for now just so we can see what we're doing breeze apply okay so you'll have to reload Libra and a few other programs that don't automatically change the look 
So let's get back into LibreOffice Writer. And just have a look at what version we're running. Okay, so we are running. Where am I? I'm going to reckon fight. Yeah, 5.4.3.2. Okay. All right, I can feel it's very sluggish. Let's have a look at what we have got here. So we're using 2.2 out of 4. C utilization is at maximum 100%. So let's start to close some things down. Don't save. Close. I'm going to leave. Discover open because I'm not sure if it's finished installing GIMP. As you can see, the should start to go down. There we go. So we've got 1.9 slowly going down. Okay, I I do believe GIMP is installed because it's not saying installing. That's another thing I've noticed. Um, some programs don't say that they've been installed or you don't get a prompt to say it's completed. Um, but I'm going to guess it has installed GIMP. Yeah, see. Um, I noticed that with Plank as well that I thought for ages that it hadn't actually worked and I kept installing it. But it was, it was already there. So we can close that. And we can just wrap up the video now. As you can see, CPU utilization has gone back to normal. Um, so, my first impressions is not really a lot to write home about. It's just your standard sort of KDE affair. A few things feel a bit clunky, like the store when you're installing a program. And I still think that despite you can go to configure desktop and change your wallpaper like that, it should just have an option that just says change desktop wallpaper and you just click it. Anyway, thank you for watching and please subscribe.